and welcome to the ESI Africa studio. Today I'm speaking with Christopher Orfelt, energy specialist and founder of Blue Horizon Energy. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Ashley. Um, the term prosumer is presenting itself as, as the trend to watch. Um, is Africa ready for this kind of model or are we already seeing this type of prosumption approach? Yeah, whether it's ready or not, it's already happening. So. <laughs> prosumer as you're calling it or embedded generation where customers generate their own electricity and feed it back into the grid um, the trend is growing so it, it makes a lot of sense for utilities to adapt with this trend rather than try to oppose it and we're seeing that uh, here in South Africa in a number of examples where some utilities are embracing this change and offering other services like storage and embedded generation tariffs to customers uh, to create new revenue streams for the utility. So uh, if they can see it more as an opportunity, then there's more benefit for utilities. And in terms of net metering, is Africa's current infrastructure ready for this type of model? Yeah, in some ways, um, the infrastructure is ready, I would say, but the regulations are what's really lacking. Um, regulations that require utilities to offer net metering to customers um, is lagging behind uh, the technology at this stage. So we do see utilities and municipalities coming up with their own definitions and goals for net metering, what, what will work for them, where they offer um, embedded generation tariffs at reduced rates below the, what they would purchase the electricity at. Uh, and we're also seeing fixed charges being passed on to customers. So it's important that the regulations are clear up front to, to state what the customer should be responsible for paying, what the utility should be responsible for paying. And are there any successful models with regards to net metering um, around the world? One that you can perhaps give us the short case study? Um, yeah, the, the, the typical definition for net metering is where the utility banks the electricity at a one-to-one -one rate, um, where they, they, they buy it at the same rate that they sell to consumers. And that has worked well in some markets, uh, but we're seeing a, a bigger trend towards a reduced rate where utilities can also recover the costs of operations, which logically that makes sense for utilities. They do need to operate and, and pay for those operations. But the, the risk they're running is if they're making it too costly or too uh, burdensome on customers, uh, then they may potentially lose those customers as competition from other technologies becomes more affordable. And then there's a lot of hype around digitalization, decarbonization, and decentralization. Mm -hmm. In order for Africa to meet its universal electricity access, where should it be placing focus when looking at these three terms? Mm -hmm. Well, all three are related in, in some way. Um, but I would, I would say the most important for African utilities is decentralization. Uh, it helps to address a number of challenges that they're currently dealing with, with low electrification rates, uh, poor service delivery in remote areas and even infrastructure bottlenecks for, for projects that are uh, too big and, and take too long to plan. So decentralization um, has a number of benefits. It also creates jobs in locations where they're typically needed most uh, and it reduces the risk of putting too many of your apples in one basket for one, one big centralized project. And I've worked on a number of these projects that turn into white elephants because they never end up getting built. So a lot of planning goes into the initial feasibility, but at the end of the day, it's, it, it's not financeable. So the, the more distributed projects you have, the, the lower your risks are that these projects won't get built. I'm sure we'll see a lot of conversation happening around that at African Utility Week this year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Thank you. I'm Ashley Tehran, broadcasting from African Utility Week.